beautiful day. All right, wanted to come to you guys real quickly, and things have been a little different lately. Um, and today, actually, what I did was I spent some time going over to Savers. I donated some stuff. I'm trying to get the house clean and get things organized so that I can film in there. Um, and that's why the red glare there is from this red bag here I have from Savers. So the reason why I'm here is I wanted to share some stuff that I found. Um, after I donated, I, of course, went in and checked out what was there. And so I wanted to go over just a couple things that I uh, came, uh, came across. We can start with, let's start with clothes. First thing I found was a Tommy Bahama. Uh, I don't know why I got it, but it was in, it's in great shape. It's 100% silk, um, beautiful shirt. It was $5, so don't ask me why I spent so much. But I know it'll sell, so, you know, um, I, I don't mind waiting to get 20. I might... Uh, trying to recoup a little bit on this one uh, let this one sit for a while when I find nice things I like to put them up and I don't mind having a high price point for a couple of reasons for one because I think that people like to see nice things in your uh, in your inventory and I think if someone sees a nice item in your inventory they may take the time to see what else you got if you got something nice like that something that interests them they might click on see other sellers see sellers other items and you know check out the rest of your store and so I have a couple of things that I really don't care if they don't sell I, I got them at a high price point um, probably because I paid a, uh, you know I paid up for them but also because they can command it and they're um, unique items um, one is like a, a polo jacket from the 90s um, it's new with tags it's like this cool Indian head it's a real nice jacket anyway those kind of things um, I don't mind like I said putting up for a high price point and letting them sit and just be gallery items just be like kind of like my storefront and I might feature those on the store and things like that and um, and actually that is the setting that I have on um, on my actual eBay store is highest priced items be the featured items and so so that's a shirt I'll probably put up for like 25 and let it just sit there for a while uh, 25 plus shipping next sorry that was a long intro on one item next um this is a youth size you know number five for the eagles number five for the eagles is the great donovan donovan mcnab and i picked this up mainly because it was oh you can't see that at all there you go um because it this was five dollars and typically a jersey at savers is 25 ish for the crappy guys i'm talking about now and this was McNabb for five, and so I, for, for whatever reason, I couldn't pass that up. I think there must be a Patriots fan in the back of the um, the warehouse there who's pricing these because all of the rest were 25, and this was five. And so this is a youth size uh, Eagles jersey. I don't know what size it is. Uh, I don't know. It's uh, NFL players, you know, nice jersey. You know, the usual, printed, um, printed everything midnight green got that green color and um, I'm gonna give this to Elijah for a while until he gets too big for it and um, let him use it up and then I can we can sell it after that this was just staring at me I could not pass it up because it was staring at me like this with its $2.99 price tag it was the first thing on the the t-shirt rack and it was staring at me there so I just was like you know what $2.99 I looked it up it'll get 15 um, it's a Garth Brooks world tour 2014 um, shirt on the back has all the cities. It's in excellent shape. I don't know why someone gave it up, but some Garth Brooks fan will like that. Um, then I went over to the toy section, and uh, usually I'm I've, I've said this many times uh, that I'm done with toys, <laughs> and then I find some more toys, and I'm like, oh, they're so cool. I gotta get them. So um, I went through there, and I found this new at Tags uh, Disney Store Dracula Mickey uh, plush is legit um, here's his tag I think his original MSRP was $14.95 and um, uh, brand new new tags couldn't do it. couldn't let him sit there this oh I thought I found a, I thought I found an error but it looks like it's supposed to be like that that's very interesting this is a Brooks Brothers bear and if you know the Brooks Brothers 
bear logo, it's it makes the Brooks Brothers items that much more uh, expensive or impressive. This um, is the actual bear. I couldn't find a comp on this, so I kind of took a chance on this for three ninety nine. Good lord, I paid three ninety nine for this. Um, and it's got the Brooks Brothers tag there, so you know he's legit. The thing I found back here was I found that his butt has a hole in it, but it seems to be stitched that way. So it doesn't look like it's in a problem. It's I think it's supposed to have a hole. If not, I will get that fixed up. But um, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Can you guys tell me anything about that? It's he's got a hole, but he's you can see the stitching on both sides of it. So it looks like it's supposed to be like that. And there's no button up here. Like okay, that's how it fastens or anything. But for whatever reason, this bear. Has a hole in his pants. Brooks Brothers. If you guys know anything, help me out. I'm gonna do a whole lot more research on that because <laughs> that is strange. But he's got his Brooks Brothers shirt, polo shirt on. He's got his nice Brooks Brothers pants on. Um, some fan of the brand will like that, I think. So um, we're just gonna see what we can do with that. Worst case, I'm sure we can get a couple bucks back. We'll get our money back at least. Okay, let's see. Toys. Oh no, let's go here. Let's do these two. These two are items that I'm gonna add to collections that didn't sell. So I have stuff that didn't sell, um, and for you know, kind of bad buys or whatever you want to call them. Um, I thought they would sell. They haven't sold for the price that I that I wanted them to. And so what I'm gonna do to kind of offset that is I'm gonna balance it out with some more. <laughs> so anyway, what I did was I paid about three bucks for these um, Beach Body or not Beach Body, it was Shanti, um, the big people, Shanti, Tony Horton, and oh, the Holly Lady. I don't know her name, but anyway, the three of them um, they're Beachbody DVDs. I thought that they would sell because they were Beachbody. It was getting towards um, January time, but I paid about three bucks a piece for them, which made them like, ooh, ouch! I couldn't even sell them because um, you know I still have them. So what I did was for two dollars, I'm gonna add three more to that collection and make that um, that set a little bit more. Ooh, make that set a little bit more valuable. These are new sealed. I didn't even know that. So these are um, probably have value on their own, but I'm going to add them in with the collection. Or maybe not. i got to look these up now that they're sealed. Um, but I'll add them in, put a nice big lot together, and someone who's interested in um, gliding. Bender ball. Absolutely abs. Ultimate buns and legs workout. Someone who's interested in those things will probably also be interested in Tony Horton, Shanti, and gee, her name is right there. I'm gonna think of it as soon as I turn this off. Anyway, that's that. Ah, Star Wars, Star Wars. Um, Star Wars miniatures. This, I have about maybe 50 to 100 little guys that I found at, an, at another Sabres at another time that I just never listed. And I'm being, you know, this is full transparency with you guys. I've literally got 50 to 100 of these little guys. Oh, that's terrible. There you go. Bingo. All these kind of guys in a box up there. So I came across this. This is, let's see, for $3.99. So I probably paid maybe $10 total for the 100 guys that I got over there. This was $3.99. This is the board. It's all complete and whatnot. The board, the rules. You saw a couple of figures. I don't think this is complete at all. And the dice and everything, the pieces for that set. And so what I'm gonna do, same thing as I'm gonna put these together with those bundle them all and that is gonna um, increase the value especially because I got a box now so I have the box I'm probably gonna need another box because I've got literally a, like a, a medium flat rate box full of these guys and so I'm gonna need a couple of boxes to get this to them or one I don't know how I'm gonna do it how I'll pack it up but um, 
this becomes a lot more valuable by adding four dollars to it and so for something that I haven't sold um, probably because I was like what am I gonna do is I'm gonna sell this as a big lot and say here you can have a bunch of pieces for a game um, I feel a whole lot more comfortable selling a starter kit plus a bunch of pieces and then letting them know that this is not necessarily complete but at least you can play a game because you got a board you got pieces you got a dice you got you know everything so I don't know too much about this game I am not into the Dungeons and Dragons and the whole lot that's what this is kind of geared towards is Dungeons and Dragons Star Wars style but um someone will want it this this new would be 50 bucks on Amazon easy or 60 I think it was easy but the bunch of pieces of what I was looking at I saw lots for like 40 bucks that kind of thing I think with the board I might get another might add so for example I paid four I might be able to add another twenty dollars to that lot so so that's the idea what else next Duplos one of my favorite things I found this for $3.99 this is Mac um, Lightning and Sheriff and then I found this this is Jake uh, the girl from Jake uh, a clown and a cowboy so these are just mini figs. These are the actual um, Duplo cars, and they're all so big guys. Lightning. Other thing I got was this giant thing of Minecraft. So I was looking at more Duplos. I saw another bag of Duplos, and they were like three ninety nine. It's huge bag of Duplos for three ninety nine. But there was nothing special in there. Is that it was like a princess set? So it was all these pastel colors and stuff, and it it was cool. But there was no minifigs or anything like that, and my sons won't get as much enjoyment out of the pastel -y colors and stuff like that as they would the, the strong primary colors and the, the, the main sets and, and those two guys. But, um, but then right next to that, I look, and for another $3.99, there's this whole thing. There's probably 10 or 15 got little minifigs of Minecraft minifigs in there, plus a little town or a little... I don't know, set up. So, um, looked it up, probably comparable to about a $20 value maybe of, of minifig stuff, but my kids are kind of getting into Minecraft, so they can kind of take a look at that, see if that's something cool. Um, that's everything. Oh, it's not everything. One of the coolest things I found is this. Brand new at Tags, Tommy Bahama, like a, kind of like a duffel carry-on luggage bag. I don't know what you'd call this, but it's got all of the the cool buttons and all of the leather cool stuff that you'd expect for a Tommy Bahama luggage bag. Here's the logo again. It says weekends, weekdays, whatever underneath, and that's the logo. That's a, I guess, a kind of a common logo because I see it on there. So they've got some shirts with that logo and all these other things. I didn't see a duffel out there. Um, but other Tommy Bahama luggage was ranging between about 40 and I'd say up to maybe $90. This, I don't think it's going to go for that. This will probably go for um, somewhere like 50 maybe because it's just a carry-on. But for those of you who do not make YouTube videos, what's going on here is my phone is full of content or full of me talking in the car. And it's um, I, every time I it gets full it cuts me off and so I gotta you know find something to delete and stuff like that so I'm gonna clear out my phone so we don't have this problem anymore but yeah Tommy Bahama <laughs> duffel so anyway uh, I paid 15 for that which is steep I know but um, but I'm gonna it's another thing I'm gonna kind of put it up shoot for the moon and and just let it sit and let it sit there for a while because 15 for something like that is is not too bad if you can get 60 or something like that so um, that's the goal and in the meantime it's gonna just draw traffic to my store and people are gonna see a Tommy Bahama shirt and a Tommy Bahama um, duffel and they're gonna you know if they're into that they're gonna look through and see the Tory Richards and the other stuff that I've got so um, that's the idea um, I'm gonna put all this stuff away get this stuff listed up and I've got a ton of stuff to list. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like borderline hoarder. I gotta, I gotta get this stuff up. So I'm gonna get this stuff listed, and you guys get your stuff listed. Um, money pile, guys. Money pile. We're, um, I gotta dwindle down that money pile and start extracting some of the money out of it because I could use it. So, 
yeah wanted to give you guys that real quick um, before it for all that happens oh total I have my receipt today total I spent 4911 that was with a 20 20% uh, off coupon and so um, I guess however every time you go there they keep track and every time you go over a certain amount you get a 20% coupon I happen to have two saved up so I used one um, and they expire so you gotta you gotta use them and go so um, that's what happened at Savers today. I'm gonna get those listed. If you guys have questions about the items, if you can tell me about that bear and why there's a hole in his pants, that would be wonderful. Um, but other than that, I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. Aloha. And then two last things I forgot to mention. Um, one is that I got a book along with that. So along with all of that stuff, I um, looked through the books. I found The Millionaire Next Door. Heard a lot of good things, never read it. So I wanted to uh, read that. And then the other thing was that some of you might be wondering, why did I get a big savers bag um, when you when you found that big duffel bag? Why didn't you just use a duffel bag? But the reason is that that bag is brand spanking new, and so I wanted to keep it safe. I didn't want it to get damaged, and um, so just a I guess just a tip is to respect your things, and if you respect them or and, and notice the shape that they're in, because. This bag, because it still has a tag on it and because it's unused, you look inside, it's, it's, this thing is immaculate. Kind of cool lining in there. It's got like the sil silica pouches still in there. You know that it's not been used. And so I want to keep it that way and sell it that way. And so if I take a risk by putting any of that stuff in there, if a corner catches it, I lose a big, a big chunk of money. And so that's why the lady kind of looked at me funny. She was like, oh, why are you buying a bag? And I, and I said, oh, I want to keep this one from getting damaged. And, um, you know, that was, that was basically the reasoning behind. So I wanted to explain that just in case people out there were like, why did he buy a bag when he could have used that bag? But yeah, 99 cents well spent. I love those big bags. I use those for the kids' toys or, um, redonating back to the, back to Sabres or Goodwill and, it's uh they're fantastic they're huge so yeah i'll talk to you guys soon that's all i wanted to say and was there one more thing nope that's it all right hello